All right, guys, so uh, it's Piper and I here this morning, and uh, we're here to help you guys get a great workout. One thing to remember is when you get a good workout in, you feel better throughout the day. So we wanna make sure you get a good one today. We're gonna start with a seven minute warm up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do seven up downs, seven up downs, sorry, I mean turn away from the camera, and then some stretching with some time in between. So if you want to, do, want to just follow my lead. What's gonna happen is, oh, here's my trusty dog, Cannonball. If you want to, uh, just listen up and I'm gonna do that. But every minute for seven minutes, we're gonna do seven up downs and then some mobility, or what that means in my world is stretching. So, here we go. We have a 10 second countdown, and we'll do this all together. Remember, we're gonna feel better because of what we do here right now. Go ahead and stand up, baby. So three, two, one, and seven up downs. All we're gonna do is drop down to a push up position and then stand back up. That's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. If you're not quite done, go ahead and finish up. If you are getting tired already, go ahead and stop right there. Now we're gonna stretch out our arms, big circles, okay? Do that for a few breaths. That's breathing on purpose. Now let's go forward. Oops. If you've been going forward, go ahead and go backwards. Good, and then go ahead and relax just a little bit. All right, five seconds. We're gonna go back to the up downs. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, five, two more, six, and Seven. Now we have some more time. We're going to stretch again. Now we're going to do what's called a, uh, a reach. We can do this a couple different ways. We're going to reach overhead. Look out, Piper. You got to be able to see me. Reach. We're going to be here. Stretch the other side. It won't see you if you be rude to it. It will see you if you don't be rude. It won't see you, okay? You put that one over there if you want to. Violet wants to get her own little thing out and join us, which is always good. All right, three, two, one. We're gonna do some up downs. Seven of them. One. Do a couple with me, Piper. Two. Three. Jump your feet all the way back again. Four. Five. Six. Seven. All right, so we stretched our shoulders. We did our hips and our sides. Okay, one I like to do is I like to push my hips forward. And when I do that, I end up stretching my hip flexor. That's like kind of the pocket area and my hamstring. So I push my hips forward and backwards. Forward and backwards. Forwards and backwards. And that's really good for stretching out those hips. We're gonna do some up downs again here. Three minutes in. Breathe. And go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Okay, so on this one, I'm just gonna rest because I need a little bit of rest. Some of you guys might feel good. If you feel good and you want to stretch, you can do the butterfly stretch. You guys know that one? Yeah, I do. Sit, pull your feet in and stretch that way. Okay, easy way. Go, 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 go. Keep moving. Okay. What happens is a lot of times I know how the little kids work. They work really fast but they get tired, they don't work at all. And what I want you guys to work on is pacing. And that's always working just a little bit while we're warming up. Here we go. Seven up downs. 
One. Wait, can we do like cool pants and push two. up? Two. Not this one. Push up? Three. Pepper push up? Four. Five. Six. Seven. And maybe you're working out with your little brother or little sister. Or maybe you are the little brother or little sister and you're just playing right now. That's kind of okay. You guys are a little older. You know what's up. You know the drill. You know that this is good for you, so you keep pushing. We've got two more rounds. I'm going to stretch my hip this way now by going with this lunge. Okay? Hey, you guys, please, no fighting. I don't want to make you have to leave the class. Wait, is it kids' class? Yeah, this is kids' class. I found out that this side's a lot tighter than the other one. Mm -hmm. Alright, we got some up downs again. Here we go. Up downs. One. These are really good for superheroes. Two. Princesses. But I'm three, a princess. My princess just four. Pink. Five. Six. <laughs> Good, all right. So I'm going back to that same hip stretch I just did, okay? Because I felt it was good. So if you had one that you thought was really good, go ahead and do that one again, because that means it's kind of more uh, designed for you. And that's okay to listen to your body. In fact, it's really good. So we had done the butterfly stretch, those big arm circles, right? The hips forward, hips backward one. Can okay. it sit down? Okay. the last one, here we go. We're going to do seven again. And then we're going to do our arm swings. Out of the way. Out of the way. One. Hey, look, you brought your Chinese card. Two. You can show food because. Look, three. See? Four. Five. Six. Seven. Good. All right, this is now where we're gonna build forts, girls. This is where we're gonna work. If you wanna build a fort, you guys can go over there to the trampoline. Okay, this is for people who wanna exercise and get more strong and get more fit. Okay, big arm circles. There you go, Violet, nice. Like I said, you're either, if you're a little one, you're either not working at all or you're working really fast. Good, I think that I got everything I'm gonna get out of my helper. So there's seven minutes. Let's take a two minute water break. You guys, if you get done with your water, you just need a little sip, then just take a couple minutes. When it gets to the nine minute mark, we're gonna come back here and talk a little bit about how we can get better at fitness, all right? And I'll get these girls out of here and head them inside. Go ahead and go inside, baby. You're not being super helpful. Yeah, go ahead and put your exercise mat back. Go ahead. Uh, no, go ahead and put it inside there and then head inside. Thank you for your help in the warm up. Yeah, if you guys already got a little sip of water, maybe get another one. Okay, It's good to make sure you're hydrated. Sometimes we don't think about water until we actually are in the middle of a workout and we're breathing heavy, our throat's starting to get dry. Uh, some of that is really normal. And that's one thing I found is that I've been a coach of all ages for quite a while and the people don't realize that there is a huge um, amount of, or there's some level of discomfort when you are exercising. It's one of those things you have to start to get comfortable with the discomfort. It sounds kind of interesting, but what that does is it forces the body to change, right? And to get stronger. And that's what we're trying to do is try to get the body to change and get stronger. All right, so even for you guys who are, you know, a little older, you're not one of these like five and six year old kids, seven, eight year old kids. You're more like the 15, 16 year old kids, 17 year old kids. Maybe you have an 18 year old watching this right now. What you need to remember is that discomfort, the more you can make uh, friends with it and accept it into this part of, the, of your day, the better you're gonna get at this stuff. Now you gotta listen to your body too. You gotta make sure you're not like, oh, something popped or is hanging out of place. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about well-designed workout programs like these um, by professionals like me. And when you do them, if you press into them just a little bit, you're gonna find a way to make yourself feel stronger, 
even look better, look healthier, which is a huge goal for a lot of us. Um, and then also even be better at like your sports or be better at playing or whatever it is that you want to do. It keeps your heart healthy and your lungs moving. You guys, there's some other things to think about here. Since I brought up the water thing, I just want to talk about hydration. Since your body is made of so much of water, 90%, you know, 70 to 90%, depending on how you look at it, and all the spaces and, and whatnot, when we're that much water, it's no wonder that if we're a little dehydrated that we get tired easy. So make sure you're well hydrated, drinking the right amount of water every day. And that for a lot of people is eight, eight ounce glasses. And for you guys who are active or you eat a lot of food and you need some more help, you guys may want to bump that up a little bit. So just think about that as you guys are um, going into these workouts. Also, adequate sleep. Man, oh man, I remember when I was in high school and even middle school, I would like to stay up playing video games all the time. And uh, that's good, but sometimes it makes me tired in class. For you guys, a workout like this will kind of give you some energy, even if you are tired, so you want to get moving regardless. But making sure you're getting some good sleep, seven to eight hours, you know, seven hours on the very low end, eight hours is kind of the sweet spot. But some of you guys are still growing. You can sleep a little bit longer than that if your schedule allows. Uh, and then protein. You guys, protein uh, gives you and delivers amino acids. Amino acids are the building blocks of muscle. And even if you don't want to be a big, you know, huge muscly guy, uh, what you'll find is that muscle is important for everyone. And that's because we all have a desire to make sure we can take care of ourselves. Do little tasks throughout the day, like move a chair around or help rearrange the living room or carry groceries in from the car. So all those use muscles. So make sure you're eating enough protein. If you guys are trying to build muscle, you definitely need protein. So don't forget that. You guys, the last thing here is our workout explanation. That's a frog, okay? So if you guys, there's a frog underneath my deck, which is on the other side of this phone. So when you're thinking about this workout today, we're gonna do a workout called the Crazy Eights. The Crazy Eights, okay? And so when you guys are into it, I'm gonna tell you three movements and it's gonna always be eight. And guess how long the workout's gonna be? Eight minutes, okay? But before we do that, I want to make sure that we're all the way loose and all the way ready for this workout. So what we're going to do is, this is a good drill. Again, little ones, you're going to have a hard time staying with this. But one thing we can do is call a squat stretch and we're going to do it for one minute. So we have the timer there and I'm going to show you first. You get down here nice and low and if you can, you use your elbows and kind of drive your knees out and push and keep your chest tall. My heels are on the ground, my knees are out, my chest is tall. Take a break, you don't have to do it just yet. We're gonna go in five seconds, we're gonna hold for one minute. All right, three, two, one, and go. And try to hold for one minute. I'll stay down here with you. If you need to stand up and shake your legs out, do that and then stand, uh, then get back down into your stretch, okay? And this stretch is great for uh, making sure our flexibility is where it needs to be. Uh, our hips and low backs will get tight because our spine, that's our backbone, comes down and runs right into our hips. Okay? And if our hips are tight, it can kind of throw off our back too. So making sure that your back is supported by having good, strong, and movable hips is important. So this squat stretch can really help. Okay, A little burn from being tired is okay. Any kind of popping and creaking, make sure you get out of that position. You don't want to do that too much. Okay, We're still down here for about 15 more seconds. I'm pushing pretty out pretty hard on my knees with my elbows because they don't want to move out on their own. I'm just a little sticky like that. Okay, five seconds, three, two, one, and stand up, oh, relax. Okay, that's the first thing. Now, the other thing we wanna do is, I call a glute bridge march, all right? It's called glute bridge because it uses the glute, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna go here, you're gonna lay back, push your hips into the air, and then lift one foot, and then lift the other foot. Lift one foot, lift the other foot. Lift one foot, lift the other foot. Back and forth for one minute. If you get tired, put your hips down, okay? Relax, breathe, and start moving again. If you have to do that again, don't worry. We're gonna go into the 14 minute mark. This is our prep for a really good workout today. And some of you guys might feel like, this still feels like a workout. You're not wrong. This is actually supposed to be a little bit like a workout itself. 
glute bridge marching. Good job, guys. All right, so then I'm gonna roll up out of there. We need to talk about the workout one more time. So the workout's got three moves. Remember how many reps we're doing? Eight. So it's for eight minutes, we're gonna do three moves for eight reps. So eight minutes long, we'll start at the 16 minute mark. Okay, we'll go for eight minutes and we'll do these three moves for eight reps. Okay, the first move, it's called a Superman. I lay flat. Hopefully you guys have a blanket down or a carpet. Lay flat, put my feet together, point my toes. That's as far as they point. I go like this and then this, that's as far as they go. I reach out. If there's no ground here, I'd be like Superman. So this is what they call these moves as a Superman. I come up here like this and I do this. I lift my chest and my knees off the ground with my legs straight the whole time. One, two, three, I'm gonna go all the way to eight. From there, I'm gonna come up into a push-up position and I'm gonna do a shoulder tap. One, two, three, four, and do eight. I know Miss Stephanie doesn't like when your body shifts back and forth. Some of that is not really helping. You can't, you can't affect it. Uh, you can't fix it. And then jumping lunges. We're gonna do eight of these. This is the most dynamic or movement that we'll do in the whole workout. And you're gonna do a jumping lunge, which is here down to the ground. One, two, three, four, five, all the way to eight, okay? And we'll go back through that circle for eight minutes. Now guys, we're gonna start in 15 seconds. If you can't do the lunges, simple. Do some squats instead. We'll make sure it's a lower body movement. Okay, I'm gonna walk you through this one. Stay with me at first, and then if you feel good, you can move faster. All right, we're going in three, two, one. Eight Supermans. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we got pushed back onto our push up position, and we're gonna do eight shoulder taps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, now eight jumping lunges, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. We're gonna do one more together, all right? One more together. If you need a second to breathe, that's okay. If you guys feel really good, we're gonna pick up the pace after this round. And that'll be up to you. You can go as fast or as slow as you want to. Here we go, we lay flat, reach out like Superman, and then lift up our knees and our chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. I'm already getting tired. We're gonna push back into some shoulder taps here. If you need to go to your knees like this, great way to do those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we're going jumping lunges or squats. You can do regular squats if you need to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, that's two rounds that we've done together. Now you guys, we still have six minutes or so left in this workout. We're gonna go all the way until it says 24. You guys can keep moving at your own pace, go a little faster, okay? If you feel like it, if you're like, whoa, coach, I'm breathing pretty heavy, I need to slow down, then go ahead and start again, but move slower. Move a little bit more controlled, breathe as you go. Maybe instead of doing eight in a row, do four and four. Go ahead and get started. You guys can listen to me and move at the same time, okay? We'll have Corbin come over here and do one round for you too, okay? Come on, Corbin, put your oranges right there. Go ahead, lay, lay flat. Corbin's do eight Supermans, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you do eight shoulder taps. Like this? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now he's got eight jumping lunges and that'll be his guest appearance round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Good. So Corbin did a round with you guys, and hopefully you're still working. You're listening to my voice. You don't see me working right now, but what you guys may be doing is making sure you're moving at your pace. Some of you guys think if I work the whole time, you guys think you have to work the whole time. Good work, good work. Keep moving. Keep moving, keep moving. I stepped off camera to take a look at a black widow. Here you guys, there's a black widow outside. But you guys are gonna keep moving, right? We've got four and a half more minutes. Four and a half more minutes. Okay, so by now you guys are thinking about the things that are kind of hard for you. Maybe it's those Supermans, maybe it's those shoulder taps, maybe it's those jumping lunges. Either way, when you get to that movement, push through just a bit more, right? Refocus and make it so you guys are actually getting through that one. Just because it's hard doesn't mean don't do it. Remember what we talked about? When things get hard, we want to push just a little bit to get better, okay? Push just a little bit to get better. And we have Mason and Corbin going to come out and handle the Black Widow, but also Mason's going to come over here and do one round of this workout for us. He's going to show us how it's done. Look at the Black Widow first. Okay, and now here comes Mason. He's going to do eight Supermans. Okay, go ahead and do eight Supermans right here. So he lays flat, reaches out, lifts his knees and his chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Now he's going eight shoulder taps. Super controlled is what we want on shoulder taps. Speed isn't really helpful. It's not hard to lift your hand fast. What's hard is holding your body in stable positions. Now he's going to go eight jumping lunges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have him here, we have him do a little variation. Go ahead and lay flat again, he's gonna do eight supermans. Let's have him do four, just do four. One, two, three, four. Now he's gonna take a break, take a breath. Make sure his next four are really good, okay? Go ahead and go again. And if you guys are watching, you can see he probably feels it right here. That's where you're feeling it too, okay? So make sure if you feel it there, that's no big deal. Go ahead and go to your shoulder taps. I want him to slow these down for me on purpose, okay? And so he has to get more shoulder stability. It's the one that's holding onto the ground that's getting tired, not the hand that you're moving, okay? Good job, guys. Keep working. He's got eight jumping lunges, but we're gonna have him do eight jump squats instead. So turn and face the camera so you can see. He's gonna do eight jump squats instead. So some of you guys who are having a little trouble with the jumping lunge, the jump squat is a great variation. Okay? And if you were doing fine with the jumping lunge, but now you need to do the jump squat, you're good to go. All right, so Mason's all done. He's done two rounds for us. I'm gonna jump in here and do a round. And I'm gonna show you what I like to do on these. Okay, so we're still working. We're going eight Supermans. I really try to make sure my arms are very straight. I don't like to do this. And I don't like to do this. I keep myself as long as possible. And then eight, one, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight. Whoo! Then I'm gonna do a push up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then what I like to do if I get tired is I'll just do regular squats. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. All right, guys, we have about one more minute. Maybe I can get one of my girls to come over here and do the last round. Come on over, Violet. Come on, Piper, put your, put your stuff down right there. We have one minute to do one round, okay? Lay fat, flat right here, belly down. Okay. Okay, belly down. Okay, and then do this. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Now good, now push up like this on your knees and go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, now let's show them eight squats and then we'll be all done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job, girls, go get your orange, you did good. Okay. So you guys, you did a really good job. You guys have 15 more seconds to finish up. We're going right to that 24 minute mark. Just because they're done, don't be done. They're gonna do another workout later. So they like to work out at the gym and do other things. 
But you guys who are making this your time to work out, you finish right to there. Now you take your break. Good work. We're 24 minutes in, you guys. You're doing a great job. You guys, a workout like that, where we get that lower back probably getting a little warm, right? The shoulders might be a little tired. You're breathing a little heavier. Maybe even starting to, to glisten a little bit and sweat. What you guys want to do now is you want to make sure you're taking care of your body. You don't just go sit back down in front of the TV or the computer to do some Zoom class or sit down and play video games. What you want to do is you want to take a few minutes and stretch. Okay, so that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to open our hips back up. Okay, we're going to do a couple different stretches for there. And we're going to hold each of these stretches for one minute. Okay, and I would encourage you guys, save this video and then scroll right to the 25 minute mark later on in the week and do these stretches at least one more time. It'll be really good for you. Okay, so the first stretch, remember I said it was the seal stretch. Okay, I don't know why they call it the seal. It's also been called the cobra, which kind of makes more sense to me. I think I've just gotten used to calling it the seal stretch. We're going to go right here and drop our hips down. I like to try to make sure I my knees want to go like this. I don't want to do that. I want to bring my knees actually into each other and just hold. I can feel that lower back where I was working out. Wants to tighten up. If you need to, you can just go to your elbows and hold, but try to pull your chest up so there's some stretching happening. Okay. For me, I'm okay. I can hold this up a little bit and it's no big deal. I may not have worked as hard as you guys did. We're almost through that, that one minute hold. Good work. And we're gonna do a simple one. We did this earlier in the warm up. We're gonna do a one minute butterfly stretch. If you're flexible in certain ways, this one's real easy. And if you're like Coach Ben, that's me, this one, you really feel it already. Let's hold this to 2715. 2715, because that's how long it took me to get in that position. Some of you guys probably are like, hey coach, I got there already. 2715, we'll be all right. A little extra stretch is never a bad thing. I don't know about you guys, I know Coach Stephanie is gonna be back soon. Uh, I just like being able to help her out. She's always doing so much, like a lot of you guys, that she looks over these workouts before I start doing them, and then uh, make sure that they're good for you guys, and then the kids are here exercising. They're playing right now on a break, but you guys might be just having some time where you really gotta focus on your fitness, and so this is it. So I appreciate you guys joining me um, and getting more fit. If you guys ever have questions, leave them on the channel. Leave them on the comment section. Send a message to Coach Stephanie and we'll, uh, we'll talk about them, okay? All right, now we're gonna do what's called a seated straddle stretch. So we go wide with our feet, okay? Lucky me, I have this mat right here. I can kind of hold and pull myself forward. Stretches my hamstrings. That's the back side right here's my quads on top and my hamstrings are underneath, okay? Some of you guys might feel this in your knee, just right at the top of your knee in the back. Um, that's okay, just a little bit of pull is fine. I'm talking a lot, but you guys just focus on your breathing. <sighs> Big deep breaths. We're gonna go till 2830 with this stretch. 2830. Don't forget, we talked a lot about water. We talked about getting good sleep eating enough protein. Some of you guys are eating uh, meat products and things like that, no big deal. And some of you guys might have some sort of allergies that affects your protein intake. You guys are maybe vegetarian, vegan, plant-based. You guys need to find ways to get those creative ways to get in that protein to make sure your body's staying healthy and has all that it needs. Definitely so many different ways to get to enough protein. Just make sure you're picking one of them and uh, making it a point to do it. All right, now we're gonna go to one side. Okay, so we're gonna go off to one side. We're just gonna hold this for 30 seconds now that we're going to one side. We've been down here for a minute. Literally a minute. I'm not that fun to watch stretch because I'm not super flexible. You think like, he's not moving very much. I don't have a lot of range of motion, but that's why this is good for me. I don't really like to stretch that much 
with you guys is more fun. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna switch sides here and stretch this way. That's okay, I'll help out when I'm done helping these guys stretch out, okay? So now here I go, I'm gonna go for 30 more seconds. Go on your knees. Might have been a little glitch there, I don't know what happened. Okay, we're gonna go on our knees like this. Nope, like this. Okay, and we're gonna sit back on our feet. Okay, that's already a stretch for some of us. We'll take our elbow, put it in the sky. There goes the beeper, which means we're done with class. We're just gonna finish up here. Hold for about three deep breaths, okay? Ready, deep mm -hmm. breath. One. Two. Three. Then switch sides. Three deep breaths. One. Two. Three. Good job, you guys. All of us are excited for you guys to get a great workout. We'll see you again next week. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are doing all you need to do with water, sleep, and protein. Protein is healthy for you. And eat eggs every morning, okay? And no meal. <laughs> and so